Hey, this is Allie with Boutique Fitness. I am the yoga instructor there, and I'm going to teach you a few yoga poses that you can flow through together or just do on their own, and these are good for stress and relieving any tension that you're feeling. So we'll start in a child's pose position. So in a child's pose, knees can come to the wide edges of your mat, mat, bring your big toes to touch behind you, sink your hips down towards your heels, walk your hands out to the top of the mat, and gently rest your forehead down. And when you're in child's pose, I'll come up just to explain, when you're in child's pose, be sure to breathe deeply in through your nose, and you can take open mouth exhales here, or you can transition to just breathing in and out through your nose. So here, focus on sinking your hips down towards your heels, spreading your fingertips wide, and breathe easy. And then when you're ready, you can come up to a tabletop position for a cow and cat. So for cow pose, drop your belly, lift your gaze, expand your chest and your heart up for cow, inhale. Exhale, cat pose. Round your spine up, look towards your belly button. Good, you can take a few rounds of this. Inhale as you move through cow, and exhale as you go to cat. Good, and after a few rounds of that, come to a tabletop position, tuck your toes under, send your hips high for downward facing dog. Another pose that's really good for relieving stress. So in downward facing dog, melt your heels towards the ground, send your hips high, look between your legs. Good, and after you're here for a while, pedal out your feet, and then you can step your feet behind your wrists, take a generous bend in your knees, grab for opposite elbows for ragdoll position. And in ragdoll, you can sway back and forth, relieving any tension in your lower spine, Shake your head yes, shake your head no. Stay here as long as you'd like. Okay, when you're ready, you can release your hands back down to the mat. Step back to downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg high. And take half pigeon on your right. So sending your right foot behind your left wrist. And go ahead, square your hips off first. Make sure you're not leaning one side or the other, but come on top of your hips. And when you're ready, go ahead, surrender to your forearms, drop your head. So pigeon is a great hip opener. It's an awesome pose to relieve stress, relieve tension, anxiety, help with your ability to sleep better. So be sure to stay here for a nice long time, maybe 30 seconds or more on each side. So when you're done with your right foot, you can come up Send it back for three-legged dog. Melt it back down. Inhale, left toes high. Exhale, pigeon on your left side. Go ahead, straighten your right foot behind you. Be sure to square your hips first. And then when you're ready, go ahead, surrender to pigeon. After staying here for a while, opening up your hips, releasing tension anxiety, Go ahead, just like on the right side, tuck your toe, send your left leg up, and back down to downward facing dog. And then you can come to a seated position on your mat. Send your feet straight out in front of you for a very simple forward fold. Seated forward fold, reaching for your toes, drop your face towards your legs. This is a great posture for just unwinding, breathing deeply, relieving any stress or anxiety you experience throughout the day. So breathe deeply here for as long as you'd like. I recommend five to 10 breaths. When you're ready, go ahead, come to your back. Bring your knees into your chest, make a tight little ball, take a deep inhale. And the most important yoga pose we have is Shavasana. So for Shavasana, <laughs> you just go ahead and relax your entire body, arms open, eyes closed, feet relaxed. And you want to stay in Shavasana for three to five minutes.
maybe even more. It's a pose that might seem like it doesn't do anything, but it's actually an amazing pose for relaxing at the end of a yoga practice or just any time that you need to be intentional about slowing down and breathing. So thank you. Have a great day.